Hello everyone, we are back into Castle Crashers episode 3 of the series now, and I am enjoying it. Now, a person in the comments, which is a fan of the Castle Crashers series, has told me about a feature that I've been missing out on called Magic. And now I thought that Magic would be locked behind a character, maybe the Blue Knight, maybe something like that. Turns out, I just had to put in a certain combination of buttons, and I just didn't realise. So... I have no real clue on where I'm supposed to go next. It's telling me to go to the dock, but as we found out in the previous video, this is a passive area where I need more relics. So I will have to find out where the next location is, and I will tell you all when I find it. All right, okay, we are back into this, and it doesn't seem like the next area, but I'll have to try out the arenas because I have no idea where else I could go. So we'll start with the King's Arena. Let's try some new magic while I'm in here. Ow. Okay, hold this and press Y. Oh, I can zap people. Sick. Okay, I have to kill multiple enemies now. They seem a bit more aggressive than usual, but I'm probably way too powerful for this. So it's fine. Okay, so my only spell it seems to be is a electric shock. And it takes a little while to charge up, as proven. Oh, you can do it multiple times in the air if you have enough agility, that's cool. I'm gonna try and combo these guys, and I won. Oh, this guy's a heavy weapon. I don't want to find out how much damage that does. Oh, there's three of them! Now he's got jump attacks. Well, I did get jump attacked, he did hit me. I'm doing it the wrong way around, I have to hold this button and then press Y. That guy over there is just dead on the floor, is he okay? He usually fared away after a bit, but he's just there. Oh, okay. Zap! I have very low mana though, so I will have to use it very conservatively. They are using arrows a lot. I really dislike arrows as we found out from the um, past video. I can just... Okay, these arrows have got... These arrows have got to go, buddy. I... Come here. These... All my days. I hate them, and they are spammed so much by these little brainless NPCs. How many more waves? Because I am half health. This is pretty fun though, it's a wave base. I'm just throwing them around, I keep trying to do the power attack combos, but it isn't really working. Let me cast a spell. Oh, they crit me. They can crit back now. They're comboing me. Is that them? That is all of them. Right. More doors have opened, and I am low on health. I don't like this. I really don't like this. This is bad for business. I'm gonna have to use blocks. I'm gonna have to try and use blocks. If I didn't get comboed, if I didn't get comboed into the floor, I'm gonna lose here. That's it. That's it for me. Does anything happen from this? I get... Oh, no? What? I'll have to come back once I've found out how to use the, like, where to continue. Oh! You can just walk up the water. Um, that's a bit embarrassing, but I'll just continue from here. It's the pole bear guys from last time. They make squelchy noises. Ew. Well, now I can truly test my, like, newfound agility and strength from these guys. Because they seem a bit stupid at the time. Very cool, strong barbarians from the last place who were completely just bullying me towards the end. I need to stop using magic as much because I have not put a single level into it and I'm acting like it's on par with all my other things. I do know it exists now, but now I need to put stuff into it. That'll be my next goal, I guess. <laughs> and a bit of healing to commit me back to full health right after all that. Sweet. One question is, how do I use the other uh, items I have? Oh, boy. oh they're, they're doing magic. But yeah, like I was saying, how do I like use the other items I have to replace the bow? Because I bought bombs and health potions last episode, but I have no idea how to use them. Oh, 
This magic. Yeah, I should really start using it because it is annoying to Gorgons. How is that guy still standing? Do you see how much damage I just dealt? There we go. That should do with it. Hey, I got another one. Okay, now we're starting to get rid of him. How much health do these things have? Look at that. I might have to bring that mace back out, the plus two strength one. Seems useful. In New York, I'm Millie Rock. He is a pet. Is this like a this is like a mini boss? He's he's powerful. Oh, he does tornado attacks. And he has ads. Of course. Okay, I can't cast spells with him. Apparently. I got into a, a parry lock with him, I guess. I'm gonna have to try and kill his teammates though while I can. Just get this one for a nice good chunk of damage. Ow! This is not looking promising for a first attempt. Right, okay. When in close combat, I need to block a bit more. Maybe I can't block giant tornadoes, but you know what I mean. Are they using my own spells against me, the lightning spells? Oh no, my health is pathetic. It's really bad, it's really bad. Oh, I'm gonna die already. Oh my days, I'm doing awful. I'm gonna die right now. Like, I haven't even killed a single one of his allies. Oh, there you go. Well, I'll just cut back to where I last left off, which will be like two seconds into the level. Yikes. We got a level up. That's nice. Still getting bullied though. And we are back to this mini boss. Let's pay attention to his allies though, because they obviously have a bit of an implication before they attack with their magic. However, I can't pay attention to all four enemies or so at once, which is gonna be a bit of an issue for me. Oh, it seems as if you like you attack them, they can't get their spell off sometimes. Other times, I just guess not. Huh. These things are really confusing. Uh, I keep getting struck in the back while just trying to pick off his little friends. Is one of them going to go down yet? I feel like I've done, like, tons of damage to all of them. But just not enough, like, to just get rid of just... I want to get rid of just one, please. But it appears I'm just getting bullied every three seconds. Yeah. They don't even drop health when you kill them, they just get replaced. I had to focus on the big guy a lot more then. I might die again to this mini boss. It's like, actually, it's annoying me now. This guy is getting on my nerves. I hate these little polar bears. They're ugly, they have massive foreheads. They just do the same exact spell over and over again. It's like archery, but even less of a warning. It's either they jump and you dodge it really easily, or they just do it with no warning. And sometimes I just miss miserably. I just need to get rid of the main guy, probably, and the rest will follow suit. Like most mini bosses, I need to focus on the big guy. Focus on the big guy and avoid the rest. Nope. I'm not allowing myself to get hit by that. I feel like I'm doing something wrong. I'm about to die right at the end of the boss fight, aren't I? Oh no, I got him. I didn't get him, but his things are still alive. Never mind, they're not still alive. Right, I am gonna die here, I can just tell. Um, I don't want any reminders of those guys. I prefer the reminder of the dinosaur friend. Oh, I'm one tap and these things are here. No, no. What am I supposed to do there? Oh, I got to spend this. Just put two more points into damage. I, I just need it. Once again, I'll cut back to when I'm back to where I was. You got him a bit easier this time. It seems like my pet actually does do something. This one, it's like every time I swing, it like pushes the guys back. That might be really useful. It's also whenever it like goes through them, it stuns them. Pets might have benefit. 
how am I supposed to dodge these things when there's two big guys that are constantly in the way? Come closer, stop hiding behind your human polar bear shields. You can't even jump combo past them, it's just... I'm gonna die again right here. This level is really putting the pressure on. Oh, level 10! I leveled up again. Let's just arrow spam a bit against these guys. Because this is really working with this goat pet. It's a good synergy. Okay, now he's getting angry. He has to use his special abilities. I saw chicken. I could heal that full. Yes! Right, okay. Oh, all right then. Let me just get a bit closer before destroying them. Easy peasy. Like, I don't use my shield a lot, but does it think I have, like, no shield at all now? Does it think I'm that dumb? I'll kill that one at least. I'll start. Okay, it's not just the ones with banners on the back, because I can do that. I wasn't paying attention last time, and I thought maybe the only ones with, like, the banners could do that tornado move. But I guess not. It's just random. Which ones have the gift of being the most annoying enemy ever? Come on. It's oh, you can climb. Oh, let's climb up here. Once again, the princess's butt. Is that a minion? <laughs> Was that a minion? Oh, wait, these are scavenger guys. I can calm down now. These are the really easy ones. They do have the annoying bow and arrow, but I now have a new worst enemy. Freaking wind magic. Look, in the background. It's the guy. That I spent a million years trying to fight. Oh, that's... Let me just get rid of those. Simple. Oh, the music change. We're in the caves now. And slime is falling from the ceiling, I guess. Are they a mall? Because that felt like a lot of damage. You know what? I guess not, and I guess they just do contact damage. And probably a lot, judging by the bones in the background. Try magic. They are not weak to magic. I'll just keep using my sword. If, if like, nothing happens after I kill all these, I think it's, a, like, a run and gun type place, or, like, a... I guess a hack and slash? Because I don't really have a gun, do I? Yeah, they're immune to magic, by how it seems, actually. Oh, no, I was supposed to kill them. They just have no drop reward. Oh, okay, they latch onto your head. Head crabs, I guess. Are they all dead? Nope, they're just off screen. And I absolutely just annihilated those last two, I guess. Oh, that guy's still half right. Ooh, big bat. Wow, really? Another thing that poops in this game. Oh, okay, it, like, it takes no knockback, it just does that. Stop making that weird noise. Oh, you need to get away from that. Yeah, that's probably the best that I didn't bring the uh, low agility thing in here. Also, that, that magic damage is great. Look at that. Thank you, thank you, uh, Draco, sis. I'm gonna, hopefully, hopefully I said that right. Thank you so much for telling me about, like, actually being able to use magic, because that damage is decent, even for level 1. Uh, oh, okay, I was still in range. Da -da -da. I need to get rid of this little... Just swing through all the bats. Swing through all the bats. And then shoot this. Okay, I need, to, I need to stop letting myself get hit by this. Uh, jump attack through all of them. No, 
no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, I have, I have teammates now, and a lot of money, yeah yo! Wait, that's it? We did it! Yippee! Yes! That, that's, that's a relief, I don't have to deal with any more of those polar bears for a little bit. Unless... Okay. I'll put some into magic then. Right, should we squeeze one more in? We'll hold off for next time, because I feel like either Industrial Castle or the Flowery Field, which doesn't seem as bad, will probably still be hell to deal with. So, I hope you all enjoyed, and I will see you next time. Subscribe.